think the difference was I believed in myself and I believed that I belonged in the, the high jumping world. You know, before the Commonwealth Games final, I, I said to myself, all right, I'm, I'm here, I'm in the final. I have a good chance of, of doing well. Just back myself and, and go well. And, you know, to win a gold medal, it kind of gives you a lot of confidence going into your next comp and your next kind of phase. So that kick-started the whole year, you know, with the belief that I can compete with the world's best and, and do some damage. So I think believing in myself for sure. I think worth work ethic, because um, you know you're not you're not a world class high jumper by doing the bare minimum. Uh, you you have to work hard, and I think that that helps my with my job at Coles. You know sometimes it's quite busy and you need to you know get the the apples out as quick as you can. So I think work ethic um, kind of to to all kind of values of life really. Shoes came first, and. Funnily enough, photography came because of shoes. Uh, I, I'm into sneakers quite a bit, ASIC sneakers, uh, you know, quite limited pairs that I have. Um, and I, I, we got into a thing with my girlfriend to, to shoot sneakers in kind of a creative way. Uh, and then I had no idea about cameras and photography at the time. So that kind of drew my interest into photography. And, and since then I've grown and grown and learnt and and now you know I'm taking photos around the world with my athletics um, of nice landscapes like Switzerland or Italy um, so uh, I'm, I very much enjoy photography and it's very much a hobby at the moment. I think with athletics it's quite different in, in Australia it's it's not a very popular sport uh, compared to say cricket or AFL uh, so it's, it's a very different feeling. Um, it's still special, of course, especially this year, uh, putting on the Australian uniform in front of an Australian crowd. You know, they, they might not know who you are, but they're cheering for you, and that, that's a really great feeling. Um, but to, to compete for your country overseas, that's, that's a whole other ball game. You know, there's not many people doing that at all. Uh, so to be one of the few to do that, it's a real honour um, to and you know to represent Australia. It's it's as good as it gets. Actually, I can pinpoint that that one time where I thought athletics is going to kick off. Singapore Youth Olympic Games 2010, my first trip outside of Australia, first time putting on an Australian uniform. I got a silver medal on count back too, so I was that close to gold. After that, all right, I'm 16. Just got a global medal. I can do whatever I want. So that that kick started the the feeling of, all right, let's give this a hundred percent a good crack. See where it takes us. It's been a slow road since then, but this season kind of makes up for it all. Uh, Tim congratulated me when I equaled his record this year. So he's a, he's a great guy. He's still by far the best Australian high jumper you know, multiple times over 230, obviously an Olympic medal. Um, but, you know, I, I, still, I still think he's, he's above me. Um, even, even if I clear higher, I think, I think I'll still need a couple more years of, of high-caliber high jumping to, to be up there with him. Um, Steve Smith as well, I'm a big fan, never met him, but watched multiple, multiple videos of him, and, and he's, he's a really good jumper. Um, but if I'm at all compared to them, it's, I'm honoured.